In this activity, you will group yourself into three. I'll assign a topic in each group, then I'll give you five minutes to brainstorm and create a role-play in front of the class, maximum of three minutes. So, flash in the screen is your topic. For the first group, is parliament age or old stone age. This is the age of the younger brothers. Second group is the Islamic age or the middle stone age or the age for multicultural and agricultural. The third one is the Neolithic age or the age of Abraya. So, this is the rubric of your performance. Content 20 points. Delivery 20 points, organization 20 points. Understood that? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, the first the first performer is group one. I'll give you 10 minutes so you may start now. Yes, ma'am. Very well. So, our next topic is all about anthropological perspective and the different stone ages, which is Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. So, as we all know, the social sciences are regarded simply as the study of people and societies. Throughout the history, social sciences concentrated on the factors. A study in social science demands a deeper understanding of people's behaviors and processes in relation to the scheme of societal order. Different branches of the field correspond to specific value of human processes and varied reasons, alongside their inherent limitations. 
Ushering the dawn of civilization. 
This gave birth to the earliest known civilizations. It is the Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, and the Indus Valley, which later on became the origin of the modern states. Agriculture was scaled down during this period as more efficient ways of farming were developed. Humans developed tools using similar materials such as metals, which they developed later as farming. So that's the end of our discussion. Any clarifications, class, questions, or concerns about our topic for today? Not so far, no. If not, can anyone give this recap about our main highlights for our topic? Okay. So in anthropological Yes, yes ma'am. So I have here some analogies about the topic. Every analogy has three sentences in which two of them are considered what the other one is yet to be decided. As a new student, you have to discern the given statements with logic to determine the third statement's validity. These three analogies are planned in the street. Lastly, explain your answer in front. I'll give you five minutes to answer. You need to start now. Five up? Okay. Anyone who can give their answers in front? Okay, Miss Mulata, you're acknowledged to say your answers. Clarity and accuracy, 10 points. 
and this sequence of ideas, 9 points for a total of 44 points. Again, let's give her a round of applause. So for your evaluation, on a one of crosswise, write the reflection of the statement. The statement is flashed on the screen. For the criteria, neatness, 2 points, grammar, 3 points, content, 5 points, for a total of 10 points. Understood class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your assignment is also flat on the screen. Kindly start now. Okay, time's up. Please press your paper. Okay. For your assignment, listen carefully. Based on your current understanding, draw a scene of what a community is for you and give a short description of your drawings. You will pass it on our next Criteria, creativity, 10 points. Relevance, 8 points. Neatness, 2 points for a total of 20 points. Get it, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's the end of our overall discussion. Please stand up for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good night, class. Goodbye.